Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick little like random haul video. I have a bunch of new things that I wanted to share that I thought were cool things that I could, you know, show people. Um, I guess first I could do this. So I got this really cool, let me show you the box. Really cool, it's a glow tech led mirror with phone holder and speaker i didn't actually use the speaker part but i used it earlier when i did a get ready with me video it says 40 m mini led lights dimmable brightness now i don't know i just don't know how to work it but the the bright the the actual lights kept kind of turning off so i don't know if i would like it was too sensitive or what but it's pretty cool oh it has a suction base too that's neat i didn't realize that it does have a little tray accessory on the bottom so that's nice so you can put that there oh oh i guess it does have a suction what this is a, a later uh makeup mirror that I bought a Sam's Club. Oh. Hello. Say hi. Oh, you doing a video? Yeah. Sorry. So, I don't know. Oh, I guess it's pink when it's off. Oh. So, yeah, like I said in the other video, I don't know if maybe I was just being... I was like touching it too much. It has little handprints from the Maya before. Um, I don't know if it's just super sensitive or what. Um, maybe I just don't know how to use it yet. But like it has 10 times, five times, and three times. So you can use this for plucking your witch's hairs. And then you can put your phone up here and this little thingy. And it plugs in with the USB, and then it also is like suctiony, which I didn't realize before because I had it on a tablecloth. But if you put it right on the, um, if you put it right on your table, it should suction because it did that to this little side end table that I have over here. Babe, you gonna give her some of that or clean her up because she looks crazy right now. So, let's see. So I got that at Sam's Club for 25 bucks. So that was a, kind of like an impulse buy. And then this also was an impulse buy. But I like it. And I told my husband I would get him one too. It's a... Uh, no, don't give it to the dog. It's like a self-heating coaster... Yeah, coaster and a mug. And so it has three different settings. The only thing I don't really like is that it has the button on the bottom, but I guess that's kind of like where it has to be because the little, these things like the little chargers go on the bottom and then it like, I don't know if you can see this like little metal that like pushes it down. I think it turned off though. So again, another thing that I don't really quite have the hang of using it, but let me see if I can get it to show up on here. Is it showing up? The, the temperature? No. Okay. Maybe it's only on this side. I thought it was on both sides. 135, 140, or 145. So it also has a lid that I haven't used yet. Yeah. Nothing. So you can see it's blinking. So that means that it's, it's warming up. 
I think it like auto shut off before or maybe I turned it off I don't remember but that this actually I bought it because it was it's usually $59.99 and I've been watching it and I saw that it was $39.99 so I decided I was gonna get it and try it so it's called the ion mug Ow, my hair's caught in my chair and it says uh, LED temperature indicator two to three hours of heating performance off coaster 304 stainless steel with steel with a combined smooth and warming ABS material I don't know what that means but I guess that's what makes it warm um, and then you you can clean it with water obviously you you can't put it in the dishwasher it'll ruin it um, but so far it's pretty cool I kind of like it um, I don't think that this is like the the $140 one but for starting off it's kind of nice and I think this is a great gift to give like a a new mom because like your coffee is never warm when you have kids so you always put it down and then you never drink it when it's actually hot so it charges with this little um whatever AC adapter I think and let's see if it's warming up Yeah, definitely warming up a little. Um, the only thing is, like, the little battery thing is, like, here. Oh, that was my infusion. Or let me see what he's saying. Okay, I'm back. This is so good. It's a breakfast pizza from Walmart. And, like, anytime I try to, anytime I do, like, a grocery pickup at Walmart, I try to get it. But it's usually sold out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this baby. You're a crazy girl. Look at that baby. <gasps> yeah, you had a bath last night, but now you look like you need another one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a big bite. Yeah, yeah good girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your face is crazy right now. I guess daddy will be cleaning you up since he wanted to give you an Oreo. Huh? What do you think? You wanna watch mommy? So excited. My monster has a new leaf. Wait, isn't it this one? Yeah. So nice. This is also called a Swiss cheese plant, but I like to call it a monster because it's, it sounds nicer. This is the second leaf. I got this and it was just this one. And now it's growing. I think I need to repot it. And there's a ball in there from Christmas stuff. These flowers, I kind of dust these plants. These dead flowers my son picked me, so of course I can't get rid of them. This... I don't know if I need to replant, repot this or not, but looks like, yeah, it's growing new leaves, so I don't know. This big leaf, I haven't gotten rid of either. Okay, sorry. It's like 10 o'clock and I still haven't eaten breakfast. So that's definitely not healthy, but, you know, I like it. Um, So I guess... Whatever I did before, I turned it off somehow. Look, it matches my little Enso ring or Enso, whatever you pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so now it's like warming up my coffee. You're such a faker. So, let's see. So I wanted to do a really quick little video haul. Do you want more? Okay. I'm, you're done? Sound like she said, I'm done. More? A real quick video. So I got this Target Insider box from Sampler. And I got 
these. You want more? You want more of them? Oh no, I, I cut up some of the... I cut up some, I smushed the sausage because I didn't want to choke on it. You gotta smush it a little. Here, honey. Okay, sorry. My husband came down and then was blowing his nose and he's like, oh, you edit this, don't you? Right? So now my coffee is hot. Um, so anyway, so I got that from Sampler. And then the other day, I think this is from Home Tester Club. This is really nice. It's a body glove waterproof, title waterproof phone case for the iPhone Pro. So I have the iPhone Pro. I don't have the Pro Max. I, I can get it. Um, yeah, so I put this on my phone yesterday. And it's really nice. The only issue I have with it is that I have the little camera protector thing on the other side. So I took it off because like it wasn't it wasn't gonna work with my phone. Stop giving him that, Amaya. Because I have the little thing that is on the back of my phone right now protecting it. And then this goes over your phone protecting it. Um so they like tell you to do like a water test first and then this is actually like a case. Like, I don't know if you can see it. But I kind of get irritated that I can see all the fingerprints too. So that's something that kind of annoys me. I don't know if that's like normal. I mean, is anything I do normal? Probably not. And then this side has like little spots. I don't really know why. Um. Maybe it's like something with the blue light. I don't know. So it clips in and then it's, you're going to sneeze? Oh, but I see. It's completely waterproof. So that's cool. Um, even like I was trying to figure out how like the, these parts work and like the charger. You want that off? Okay. Now lately she doesn't want to wear bibs. So she gets mad when she has a bib on and then she wants you to take it off of her. All right, honey, hold on. Huh? All done. You have eggies on your shirt. Here, look right here. So she wants to, she wants the thing taken off as soon as she's done eating. So this phone charger or phone um, case has a year warranty, which is really good. Um, yeah, don't do that while your coffee is sitting there open. So. You can smush it together. Sorry about my hands looking gross. They're so dry and yucky. My nails look terrible. And then you gotta like really smash it. And then it becomes completely waterproof to, so like if we went to like Sesame Place or Dorney Park this summer, like I definitely would use this because it would protect my phone from getting, from getting wet. But it has a one year warrant, one year limited warranty, and you have there's a website to make a claim, all that. Um, it asks for original purchase date, which I didn't purchase this, so I don't know how that would work. But overall, I would recommend it, especially if you don't have a cover thingy on your on your camera. That's the only reason I took it off because it was kind of like pulling the back like of the plastic like like this so I didn't want to break it and then when I need it in the summer oh my gosh oh my gosh so many let's see how these taste and I need it in the summer and I don't have one so I wanted to preserve it I think I mentioned this in the other video but I don't know when I'm going to be posting these but this is the Target Insider gift they sent me and it's the Gerber natural baby melts with banana pear they're freeze dried and an egg white snack with vitamin C so it's like a little meringues they're, I love these things I like the melties better though I think yeah these ones don't really taste like anything right mm, they taste a little bit like something now so 
and spe so speaking of the phone camera cover I got this one off of Amazon for Silvanio. I don't know how to pronounce it. And this has a limited lifetime warranty for all our screens. So when I was at JBL, I don't know if you can tell. It's this one, yeah. It's this one. Oh. Alright, when I was at JBF, it broke. kind of see the breakage on the bottom so um my phone fell and rather than have it fall and um crack the front of the screen even though I have like that clear case clear like thing that's supposed to make it unbreakable I was actually kind of glad it fell and hit this instead um but like I said they have a lifetime warranty so I'm probably gonna send them an email um, because they included three and like the second one I tried to put on, it was like, it was like dirty inside the, the part that would go on the lens. So I, I popped it off and then I put the third one on. I don't know if I'm just like really particular or if I'm just like a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, so I got that cause I didn't want to have my camera lenses get scratched. So on to the next thing. I have a, like a mini haul from TJ Maxx. And I was looking for the other shoes that I bought. I had bought some clothes in, I want to say like January or February. And like none of them fit. And my TJ Maxx, their dressing room was closed. So I couldn't try them on at the store. So that was really annoying. So I went back and then I bought some like interview clothes but I went to Marshalls and I guess that if it's not a TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you can't like return it to the same location. Like it's all not all the same thing. So anyway, I finally went back to TJ Maxx and I got some new sneakers, some Skechers. These are almost like my other ones that I've had for years, except for these ones have shoelaces, which I kind of prefer the ones with other shoelaces. Honey, no. <laughs> You want more? Look, you have some right here. Because then the shoelaces won't get untied. So, come here. Hey. Okay. Um, so, some other stuff I got. I got a pair of flats, but I don't know what I did with them. They were in a plastic bag in my room. I don't know if I put them somewhere. I thought I was saving them to do this video, but I can't find them. But my house is a complete disaster. Like, basically every single room. Except for my daughter's room for once. That's actually clean. But these, um, Japonesque, Jap Japonesque, um, tweezers I bought. They're really, this is really sharp, but it's, like, kind of, like, um rounded on the edge so like you don't poke yourself i have another pair that's very similar to this but it's poke it's pokey on the end so um i've dropped it a couple times so it uh definitely is not straight anymore at this point and then these ones are nice and um straight across and they come with these little holders so your tweezers are not going to be like sticking out especially the pointy ones like that could be dangerous so those are nice um, I found new cuticle scissors, and these are only $4.99, so that was nice. If I got a Sally's, it probably would have been, like, I don't know, a little more. And this also has, like, a little holder thing to keep it closed, so that's nice. Um, and I can't remember where I got this, but I got this, it's like a silk scrunchie for your hair, and I've been using it at night. I actually didn't use it last night because my um because it was downstairs and so I just grabbed it real quick for this video. Yeah. But um I think that's pretty much it. I'll put the links below for all the things that I posted and I'll try to find I feel like this was like an Ulta purchase, but oh bless you. But I kind of feel like I bought this in person. Because I feel like I remember grabbing it. So I don't remember. 
Maybe I found that somewhere. Hey! Yeah. Maybe I found that somewhere else. I can't I can't recall at the moment. Oh my gosh, she just picked up a bunch of food from her high chair. Anyway, that's all for today and I will see you guys at the next video. Don't hurt yourself. Um, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share.